So in this video, we are going to talk to you today about how do you increase views and subscribers on this platform on YouTube. Okay, and the answer is very simple. Tatagalogin ko na lang. Simple lang maging magtangat-tangahan tayo. That's it. That's it. Okay, bye-bye. That joke lang, joke lang. I mean, the, that's the secret. Okay, that's the secret on how you can attract viewers and subscribers to your channel, to your content. That's very simple. You think of something that could spike up their emotions. Okay, again, if uh, ang, ang person watching right now, if the person right now watching has no background in uh, marketing, okay, you have to realize that you need to spike up a person's emotions. Okay, in order for them to buy. People don't buy on logic. People buy on emotions and justify it with logic. Okay, that's uh, that's how people buy. Okay, let's say for example, you are spiking up their emotions, i.e., nagtatangatangan ko sa content na ina-upload mo, or you're being amazing with your content, you're sounding smart with your content, or there is, I don't know, there are jokes in your content, there is comedic side in your content. Up to you. The idea is you are spiking up a person's emotions. Okay, and that's how you attract viewers and subscribers to your channel. Okay, watch time would increase. Okay, and also uh, impressions would increase. Okay, your content will be posted more on YouTube. Okay, it will be more on the recommended side. Okay, so that's how you attract uh, viewers and subscribers on YouTube. You just have to spike up their emotions. Okay, and uh, again, that was a quick coaching video. But people do buy on emotions, not on logic, okay? They do buy on emotions, not on logic, okay? So when you say to them that, uh, hey, please watch my content, subscribe, by, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that, they would subscribe if you are spiking up their emotions, okay? Or think of it this way, YouTube is like a woman that you need to court, Okay, at first, it's gonna play hard to get. Okay, a little bit of rejection, a little bit of no. Okay, but in the long run, okay, once you become persistent, okay, with who you are and what kind of content you upload, you grow. Just like in a woman, when you court a lady, okay, she's gonna play hard to get, a little bit of no, a little bit of rejection, play hard to get. Okay, but, okay, once, diba, if you are consistent, okay, if you are congruent with your thoughts, words, and actions, with basically who you are as a person, the girl's gonna say yes in the long run, okay? You're gonna be able to close the girl in having a relationship with you on, or, or on going out on a date with you. The same thing with YouTube. You just have to be consistent with your thoughts, words, and actions. Okay, but at the same time, you are spiking up the emotions of people. It's up to you whether positive emotions or negative emotions. There are people that are a bit negative online. They are doing some, di ba, mga kalokohan online. Di ba? There are people naman out there na uh, they're very amazing. They sound smart. Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, di ba? Uh, Dan Pena, Patrick Beth David. Those are the people that I follow here, okay? And they sound so smart, okay? That's why I subscribe to them, okay? I watch their content. And if you are a new YouTuber, just spike up people's emotions, okay? People buy on emotions, people watch on emotions, and then justify it with logic, okay? Oh, because kaya ko that's, why I subscri that's why I subscribed because... Hey, he's funny. Uh, I subscribed to this guy because he sounds smart. He's, he sounds a bit technical. Some, some, somewhere along those lines. Okay, the idea is you are spiking up their emotions. Okay, people buy again, again, again. Let me repeat it again. People buy on emotions, not on logic. Spike up people's emotions and you can increase views and subscribers and impressions on your channel, on your content. Okay, if you are a... Uh, English speaker right now, you may have noticed my accent is a bit thick. English is not my native language, but hope you've learned something new. Be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, to God be all the glory.